Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my top tips for self care. Now this seems like a strange video for me to film for myself because if you know me personally you know I really don't care about not self care but like putting in effort I guess. Uh, but lately I have been putting in more effort to make the effort and I want to talk to you about my top tips about what's helping me and what I found has worked. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so my first tip is getting some vitamins or some prebiotics for your gut health. Uh, I used to take vitamins all the time because I was told to you by my naturopath that I was taking about eight a day and I got really lazy and didn't want to be taking that many a day. So recently I came across a company called Mr. Jones. Now this is for the ladies only out there. They specialize in women's health and making them feel and look their best. So this is what I picked up. I have the perfect pair. This is the first one and this is the Rise and Shine. It supports your day. You take two in the morning. And then I also have the sleep tight which supports your sleep and you take two at night for bed. Uh, I've been taking these for a little while now and I felt a massive difference like almost straight as worse. Almost straight away as well and I know that a lot of that could be a little bit of placebo but I usually uh, have to go to bed really early because I start early so I'm normally in bed by like nine because I start work about six. Um, and I generally really, really struggle in the morning to get up and move and get going. And since taking the uh, sleep, what is it, sleep tight, I have found that I've been waking up a lot better. It's been easier to wake up today. I woke up before my alarm and I've been feeling like I've been getting a deeper sleep as well. Um, and as for the day one, I have found that I have had a lot more energy because I do get up quite early in the day. Uh, I generally find that about three-ish, I am really sluggish, really tired, um, but I haven't been that way um, lately. I've actually had the energy to keep going, and I'm soon going to be starting my exercise regime, which taking those hopefully will help as well. So that is my tip number one. <laughs> tip number two um, is my hair, and so I dye my hair, I haven't dyed it for about, ugh five months now maybe um just because i wanted to give it a break but i will be going back soon just because it needs a little bit of a toner so it doesn't look as yellow as it does right now um but my other tip is looking after your hair so for me that used to be just brushing it daily um i know but it was a struggle to brush my hair because i would literally sleep in a bun wake up go to work with my hair in the same bun i was a mess i was a mess so lately i've been taking more attention to detail to my hair including brushing it daily and I've also been using Bondi Boost, which they are a new company. They are Australian and they promote uh, hair growth and healthiness. So I have a spray that you spray in your hair and I also have their shampoos and conditioners and all that. And I've noticed that it is really working. Um, I will do a before and after soon. I haven't quite been using it quite long enough to get results yet, but we'll see. Um, I've also found that using hair masks and treatments have really helped my hair to be healthy as well as my nails and my skin. And coming on to skin, this is also going to sound like I'm a massive slob and I'm sorry, but I was the worst for taking off my makeup and for moisturising and taking care of my skin. Um, and lately I have been really good. Yay! But I have been using this new wipes that I found by Press Beauty. They are a microfiber cloth and they take off your makeup because of all the chemicals that are in face wipes. It is really quite scary and I've been using them for years. But uh, yeah, so I've been using them and it takes off the makeup really well and my skin's been really well. Minus the cold sore that I've gotten. But that's okay because I know why I got that. But um, I have found that my skin has been really good. I've got a few breakouts, but I've been any bad. So not related. But <laughs> also moisturizing. I have been using the Clinique uh, Power Surge, I think it is. Or something like that. It's a little pink one. And 
Although I don't agree with Clinique being not cruelty free, I really, really, really love their moisturizer and it has done wonders for my skin. A little while back, about two months back, I was getting really like severely dry skin and normally my skin is generally quite good, but I was getting really dry skin under my eyes and like along my like jawline. Um, to the point where it was like flaky, like you know when you sunburn and you peel, it was really bad. So ever since using them, I have been really good and not had to worry. Um, so I think looking after your skin is amazing. Like, it sounds really stupid, I'm sure everyone else looks after their skin properly, but for me it's like I'm 23 years late to the game. But looking after your skin really well, that includes moisturising your whole body and doing treatments. I don't tan or anything like that, so I'm not putting any of those sort of chemicals on my skin. I know you can get chemical free ones and ones that are not bad for your skin. Um, but other than that, I am generally pretty good. But I have definitely noticed a difference in my skin and a willingness to want to do it because this moisturiser is seriously so good. I like look forward to moisturising my face. It sounds really lame, I know. But still. It's my self-care tip number three. Number four is meditation. Now, I don't do this regularly. My partner does and finds it really helpful. I generally meditate in other ways. So sometimes if I can't get to sleep before I started taking the Mr. Jones, I used to meditate and I found that it really differently helped. Now, if I need to meditate, it could be 30 seconds during my day. I do wear an Apple Watch normally and it reminds me to breathe. So for 30 seconds, I'm just really focusing on my breath, calming my body down. Sometimes I like to just sit in silence or it could be reading a book. Anything that calms me down and sort of feels me to be like centered. Does that make sense? I'm trying to do that at least once a day, um, especially if I am go, 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 which I normally am. I found that this has really, really helped not only me sort of slow down and appreciate things, but also my mindset. Because normally I am just go, 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 as I said, and my mind is racing a million miles an hour. And that's why I generally get cold sores because I'm stressed and run down. So I've been really trying to focus on that side of things by calming my body down, taking it easy and slowing down just that little bit. Um, and meditation is really good for you as well to sort of keep in ground with who you are. And number, what are we up to? Five. Um, as I said before, I do go to bed quite early, not only because I am a grandma, but because I also find it really helps. If I go to bed any later than 10 o'clock, I really, really struggle to get up in those mornings. And I think getting enough sleep is really, really important, as well as drinking a lot of water and things like that for your skin and for your body, but really, really important for your mindset and for your health so you can start your day on the right track. Um, also because like sleep is life, so that's why I go to bed so early so I can get more of it. With, yeah. Um, also I've got a couple of things here that I didn't realise I was really doing for my self care and are not in the, I guess, beauty side of self care. But my job is definitely something that I have changed recently or in the process of changing to help my self care. Um, I talked about in another video how I had stopped working with a client because of their negativity. That is something that I have done. And next year I will be starting a new role where I will be sort of focusing more on the work that I really do enjoy and makes me happy. And I've noticed recently because I've sort of started implementing those changes at work, I have felt more happy because I am working with clients that I really love. I'm doing things that I really love and I'm happy to go to work. And that has really not improved my happiness and my confidence but also my self-care because I am looking after my mental state by going to a job and a workplace that makes me happy. And I know that not everyone can do this right now, but put in those steps to like, if you're not happy in your job or in your role, then put in those steps to then become happier and change your workplace and change what you're doing because you're at work for like, I don't know, some ridiculous statistic of your life. Like percentage, like you're there a lot of your life. So make sure you are actually happy in your role because you need to protect your mental health because mental health is one of those things that has such a big stigma around it, but you really need to look after every aspect of your life. Not only your friendships, your relationships, your home life, your money, but your career, where you go and spend most of your time at. So by me doing these things, I am, um, yeah, I feel like Changing my job, I have actually become happier and I'm looking forward to next year where I get to do it full time. So I'm really excited about that. 
Um, another thing that I do is saying no to things I really don't want to do. So I am generally a people pleaser. Um, I do like to go above and beyond for my friends or my family. Um, I probably put them before anything else. And I find that I will say yes to a lot of things, whether it's going out, doing things, going places, um, a lot more because I want to please them, I want to do it, but I've got to realise that if I'm too tired or if I've got other things on, I need to say no, I need to be okay with that because I need to look after myself, my mental health, um, and that's just all part of my self-care. Now, it doesn't happen as more often, as more often, doesn't happen as often as it used to. I've definitely gotten better with saying no, I don't want to go anywhere, I just want to have a veg day because I do work quite a lot. Um, so on the weekends, if I don't want to go anywhere, I just say, no, sorry. Um, which is fine. And I've learned that that's okay. I don't have to say yes to everything. So yeah, my last tip, which I am not good at <laughs> is exercise. I would rather stay in bed watching Netflix than go and exercise. I'm really, really bad and I am trying to get better. <laughs> I've got a video coming soon about that or it might already be up, I don't know. Let's see how my schedule goes. But <laughs> the video is coming soon or on my channel now. Um, about exercise, exercise releases all that good stuff and makes you feel good about yourself and all that stuff. But it's actually really important for your self-care. Um, yep, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. But that was just like something that I wrote down so I feel like I have to say it. People please them, you guys, that's better than all. All right, um, I think that's all I sort of wanted to touch on. If you guys have any self-care tips or things that you have done to, or anything that you guys have added into your self-care routine, let me know. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please leave a comment and like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.